Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you basically how I got scammed. Just like you saw on the title of this video, this video is not clickbait. I did get scammed on Instagram about maybe like two to three weeks ago and I really wanted to put this video out there a lot sooner but I never got the chance to sit and film it and yeah I don't normally post on a Sunday so you guys need to give this video a thumbs up um, just for my effort you know in putting this video out there for you now the reason why I'm sharing today's video is basically um, just to warn you guys and also just to spread awareness because I know there's a lot of these scammers out here um, especially around this Christmas uh, period because obviously they are looking to make money they know that people are maybe a bit more easy with money around this time and they can literally just do what they want so you have to be a little bit careful so yeah that's pretty much why I'm sharing this story now I have been I must admit I have been very very stupid because some of these things that have happened were literally like red flags I should have definitely picked up on them a lot sooner but I didn't but to be completely honest I'm not mad because I feel like that money um, that I lost um, it wasn't that really that important to me that comic said it was not like it wasn't important because money is always important isn't it but I, it was the money that I was kind of ready to lose in that kind of makes sense like I felt like even if I lost this money it's not really gonna hurt like it's not gonna make so much of a difference so that's pretty much what my thinking was that and that's pretty much why I went into it so yeah I'm gonna get into the story so before we do that guys please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe if you're not already and uh, yeah so let's get into the video I don't even know what my face looks like I don't know, but anyways, I've just come back from church, guys, and I thought I would just sit here and just tell you guys this little story, because I know if I keep putting it off, it will never happen, so yeah, anyways, let's get into it, so the way it happened is that um, there's this person, I don't even know if this is like a man or a woman, but I'm just going to refer to this person as a person, because there's definitely someone behind that account. But anyways, it was this person that followed me on Instagram. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me. I will link my name down here. So, yeah, this person followed me on Instagram. And I noticed that they were very, very active on my story. So, every time I would post something on my story, they would definitely, that person would definitely always, you know, interact with it. Like, if I posted a video, for example, I would get likes. So, the person was really engaging with my content okay so at some point I thought I started to notice you know this person just like I mean any youtuber or anybody that creates content will know this like if there's always that one person that comments on your videos you will sort of I don't know you kind of get used to it you kind of know who that person is eventually so this is what that person was like okay so one day the person said decided to send me um, a screenshot of um, I think it was something that looked like a bank account with like you know some money in it and I remember I was quite busy at the time because I was I was in between recording content and actually like on my Instagram at the same time it, I mean it's just weird I don't know if you guys do this sometimes but hey anyway so they sent me this screenshot I looked at the screenshot and it was basically um, somebody's account so I then message her back randomly I was just like um, what what is this about uh, she then said to me you know is to do with invest investing so you invest $500 and then you get a return of $8,000 I was like hmm okay this sounds really really good to be th true so I was a bit skeptical about it initially so I then said to her um, how it how can this even be possible and then she said to me oh you know you have to try it for yourself i did not believe it until somebody convinced me to actually get into it and yeah i can promise you that it's legit like it's a hundred percent legit i was like okay i mean knowing that this person has been engaging in my content for a bit and sometimes messaging me as well like just randomly just saying hey how are you and stuff like that so but anyway so i said okay that's fine i'm gonna look into it so remember I was creating content on this day so I was kind of busy and I didn't really get a chance to get around to it so the next day I then messaged her I was like um 
you know about that that investing we're telling me about like you know how do i get to start it so she then linked me to somebody else's instagram account i will link I'll, I'll show you guys pictures here and there um so yeah she um said you need to dm this person because this person is a broker um and she would i guess the person is a broker and she is the one that so does all the investment and then essentially you get your return in the end so i was like okay so i clicked on on that uh, link she sent me and i looked at the page of this person this other person and funny enough it actually happened to be the same person i'm gonna get into that a bit later on but anyways so um yeah so i then went into this on this page and i think this person had something like 2000 something followers and she had lots of posts about testimonials people were saying how they've invested this amount of money with her and got this return lots and lots of videos of you know people like you and me literally like you know te um, giving testimonies about their return so when i looked at that i didn't really look too much into details i mean looking back at it now i'm like i was definitely stupid because i didn't really look at you know the likes because if you have like 2000 followers yeah at least your picture or whatever should have some sort of level of engagement but those posts only had like six likes or or seven or eight likes and also i didn't really pay attention to how long that account has been existing because when i went back to it later on i then realized that the, that account has actually had actually been created in september which was literally like what two months since this um i mean b before my scam happened but anyway so it's quite it was there were lots and lots of red flags that i didn't quite see initially the thing is with me as well is when it comes to me and money like i don't like to hold money so tight i like to try different things i like to give i like to help so i'm not too i'm not too tight with money like i don't see money that way but anyway so yeah so anyways i messaged this person i dm this person on instagram and i was like you know somebody told me about what you do and stuff like that i want to know a little bit more about it so she then said to me um you know it's basically like an investment so you invest a certain amount and then you get a return and then i was not asking her like what is the probability of me actually making a return on this she then said um you know that she's helped lots of people around the world and they've never made any losses like basically everything was just sweet and positive yeah so i was not like and then asked her again that okay if i was to invest you know with you and it didn't work, quite work out how i wanted it to work out can i get my money back she said yes that i was okay so i was like okay i guess it's a little bit of guarantee but anyway so i then went ahead with it i was like okay so how do i start she then said you need to you just need to follow everything that i tell you uh, and then i will do the investment for you and then when the return is ready i'll tell you and then you can just come on you know remove your return i was just like at the time yeah i wasn't really thinking i was just so stupid but anyways um so just to tell you guys about what type of investment this was this was actually cryptocurrency and i know crypto is such a big thing right now and to be completely honest what i know about crypto now i didn't know so much about back then okay when that happened but i just knew that crypto was a thing okay um so and if i knew a bit more about crypto then I wouldn't have fallen into this trap that's why you need to do your research guys like you really really need to do your research uh, because after the whole thing happened i spoke to the bank and the bank actually told me here in the uk it's not actually something that has been well established and even if you are to invest in in crypto you cannot actually physically get that money like let's say you buy cryptocurrency worth of like ten thousand pounds and you then decided that you wanted to get that money back like you cannot physically have the ten thousand pounds in your in your hands like you cannot withdraw it if that's if that kind of makes sense even if it's made more than that you cannot withdraw because it's not actually like um 
it's not a real currency like it's not like the pound or the dollars that we all use or euros do you get what i mean so i didn't know that then but now i do and if i had that information then i definitely wouldn't have you know made that decision to go with this lady but anyways so we then went ahead proceeded with it she then said to me i needed to download this app called uh, bitcoin.com um so i went ahead i've done that uh, and then she told me to buy some Bitcoin. So I bought Bit. I said to her initially, she wanted me to start with five hundred dollars, and I was like, mm, "Let's start, you know, little, and then see how it goes. And then if this works, then I will invest more." So I was like, "I'm just going to start with, you know, two hundred dollars." And then she was like, "No, that's quite small. Like the minimum uh, should be at least three hundred dollars, something like that." Anyways, so I said, "Okay, three hundred dollars." And then she then said, "You need to add a little bit more to it." because you know three hundred dollars a bit small so i then bought crypto worth of i think it was like 310 or 312 dollars something like that um anyway so i had that in my crypto wallet thing and then she then um you know told me to transfer her this is where the the, the trick was that i didn't realize she then told me to transfer my crypto to her like she showed me how to do it using certain links and blah blah blah, blah. so i done that then she was supposed to go ahead and invest it and then you know contact me later on with a return as i was doing this thing i was actually at work okay i was at work um so i was kind of back and forth chatting with her and one thing she was really quick at answering messages and when i was going a bit quiet because i was with a patient um she would literally like be i don't know if it's a she or for is a he i don't know but anyways this person would literally be messaging me be like are you there are you there like always making sure like the service was top notch okay top notch like she was really on top of her game obviously this was a scam so anyways um so i then um did that i transferred her the bitcoin worth of like 300 dollars something like that uh, because obviously you have to pay like a certain fee so altogether i think what she got was maybe like 250 dollars because i think to transfer you pay transaction fee of maybe 50 dollars something like that so but anyways so i transfer her that and then maybe like half an hour later she then dms me again she's like you know the money you sent me was not enough because it was below the minimum you need to transfer me another 250 dollars and then i was like mm, initially you did tell me that i could start off with this so how come this is not enough and then she was like you know i need to start mining and the mining process requires a certain amount and i was like okay that's fine i can buy more bitcoins so I went ahead and bought more bitcoins i was actually in the process of buying more bitcoins so what happened then is that my um the, the app was uh, asking me to verify my identity which is basically what saved me spending more money unnecessarily so i did everything the transaction was not going through because they were asking me to verify my identity so i then um I was uploading my passport my driving license i was trying to upload all these things and i was still uploading them but he kept saying that you know they could not verify me and i couldn't really understand why and anyways the transaction did not go through and she was again there just messaging me like you know try this try that try it. none of the things she was telling me to try was working um which meant that that transaction was literally put on hold because they could not verify my identity so that's when the whole thing now took another turn so i then said to her at some point i was getting quite fed up of this i was like i've sent them all the stuff that they needed to do but they still haven't got back to me about you know whether i'm, I'm okay to proceed or not uh, so i then said to her just go ahead with that one she was still adamant that she needed more money so at some point i got fed up i just said to her oh i don't know guys forgive me i'm just seeing her here but i don't know if there's a man or a woman behind this but hey anyway so i then said to her i got fed up somewhere i was like you know what I'm just tired at this point. I don't want to proceed with this anymore. Can you just retransfer me back the bitcoins that I already had? Oh, bear in mind, I forgot I skipped this this bit. So she then has this website on her page. So that's another thing. I clicked on the website, it did look very legit. When I sent her the three hundred the three hundred dollars worth of bitcoins she then put it into this um account like she sent directly me to this website where all the investment happens so i then logged into that website and i did see that i had 300 dollars um of investment um so 
and then I was I just said to her like the money's there like what is costing you to actually retransfer me this back she didn't want to retransfer me that money she kept saying um we, we just have to wait for them to verify your identity so that i can i can go ahead and mine and do the mining process and then you can get your return blah blah blah. she kept me consistent consistently repeating herself after i was actually like just trying to get my money back do you get what i mean but anyway so when I then um, got home, because she was really insist, like she wasn't really responding, like all, all the things she was saying just didn't make sense. So I went to the web when I got home. I went to the website. I tried to withdraw because there's an option to where you can actually withdraw. I tried to withdraw, and it kept saying error. And that's when I knew that there was something wrong because the money's there. I can literally see my investment, but why can't I withdraw it? But anyway, so I decided then to call the bank and see whether that transaction that. Um, was on hold could be cancelled because they had already debited my account uh, but obviously that transaction was still pending on my account so i was hoping that perhaps the bank could cancel that and then i can get that money back but unfortunately that could not it was not possible so that's when the bank then told me that this is a whole scam because there's no way i would have got anything you know back in sort of you know cash sort of money uh, and that's when i was like yeah this is definitely something is very fishy about this because even withdrawing the money it kept saying error and i kept messaging her i'd be like you know i need to get this money out how do I withdraw it? And she kept saying, you know, go to the website, go to the help section and ask and, you know, how you can do this, blah, blah. I was like, but you're supposed to be the expert at this. You're supposed to know how to get this money out because isn't this what you normally do? So it was a bit fishy the way that she was handling the whole situation afterwards. So then what happened? I then decided to go back to the girl that first introduced me to her i then messaged her i was like this is how i wanted to message her and be like this is happening people that's when i realized that her account was not existent anymore so apparently she had blocked me um so but anyways so what happened then i decided to contact bitcoin.com and they're really good their customer service is really good so i explained what was happening and essentially they cancelled that transaction and refunded me the the money that i was about to spend for the extra bitcoin that i needed to buy so i got that money so then what happened is i was still on this girl's case i was like give me that money back you know there should be a way that you should do it blah blah i was messaging people uh, i mean the help section on the web on her website and nobody was answering like you know for hours and hours like, what kind of customer service is this nobody was answering because the whole thing is fake the whole thing is fake it just doesn't exist it's just like a uh, I don't know it's like an illusionary kind of website that she uses or he uses to to lure pe people into this sort of thing so in the end um, this person then decided to block me so when I actually wanted to message that them again I then realized that again the account was not found and when I talked to my sister about it my sister actually went on her page and her page was still active so she actually did block me so that's basically like how the whole thing happened I got scammed guys I was literally so 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 extremely extremely stupid uh, but hey it is it happens anybody can get scammed and it's just like this thing like I was saying to my sister it has been sort of in the background for a long time you know when you're a youtuber you're really exposed your business email is on your youtube channel so i was i always get lots and lots of emails about people asking for collaborations and sending me you know some sort of dodgy files that i need to open stuff that i need to download only on my laptop i can't do it on my phone i'm like this is really dodgy why can't i access this on my phone why do i have to access it on my laptop so it seems like all these things has literally just been like surrounding me for such a long time and eventually <laughs> this happened but you know what like i said i'm not i'm not mad in any way because going into this i was sort of prepared because it's like any type of investment right you know that when you go in there's a chance that your investment may not yield any profit and you may end up losing money so that's how i was sort of thinking um and, I, and, it, and it was a money that it was money that I could have, you know, easily afforded to lose without feeling 
any type of way that kind of makes sense like i'm not relying on that to pay my mortgage i'm not relying on that to survive it's just such such a small proportion of the money that i make on youtube anyways so to me it's not really significant but this happening to somebody else may be a huge huge loss and that's why i'm making this video just so i can kind of you know warn you guys you know check this account and funny enough a week later that girl that introduced me to that other girl that was supposed to be the boycott and stuff created i don't know if she created another account or if she reopened i think she just unblocked me but she changed her description she then said that somebody had hijacked that account of hers and um her, that account has been deleted or something and then she didn't have to create another account but funnily enough she almost had the same number of followers that she had previously so this is really weird i feel like they are here on instagram really targeting people so you have to be aware of these accounts i will link i will show you guys pictures somewhere in or around this video so you know what the accounts are and you know to stay away from them um so yeah that's pretty much my my scam story i have been scammed and me if you know me i'm so diligent with my money okay i i don't i don't really like hold on too tight to money but i also want to make sure that my money does what it's supposed to do you know if it's helping people if it's you know buying something for someone or do i like like when my money actually is doing something that has meaning not going to scam scammers like this you know but at the end of the day it's life things happen and i don't think i would well fingers crossed i'll never fall into this sort of thing again um and i've done lots and lots of investments in the past i was saying to my husband i think we're just going to stick to shares we're just going to stick to shares what we know we see this company we look into them we buy shares and we just move on and we look into how we can invest you know outside of shares maybe like into properties and stuff like that i don't know but yeah i think this crypto currency thing i'm i'm not going to invest into anything that i don't understand and that's pretty much the bottom line of this whole thing um so it could have been worse could have been worse than three hundred dollars could have been maybe ten thousand dollars who knows so yeah i've just i just want to say guys invest into things that you understand if you don't understand something don't put your money into it it's just as simple as that and that's basically what i fail to understand um that kind of led to this and also do your research look into the nitty gritty details and also i didn't even ask for her license because apparently if you want to use a broker they have to be licensed and i didn't really ask for the details because i did not even know this i didn't know did your sis didn't know any of this information so yeah make sure you do all your research do check on them you know um know about what you're investing into do all the research that you can before you actually get into investing because these people are out here doing the most so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever been victim victim of a scam and if you have like what was it about um yeah so let me know and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you guys in my next video which will definitely be a hair video so i'll catch you guys in my next one bye